guys welcome welcome back it feels so weird i have brown hair finally it is finally fall guys and it is also the end of the month so that means it is reading wrap up time so this month i read i believe 20 books and i don't have any words for myself i don't know how i read this many books i don't understand in between like work and school how i've managed to read 20 books more than half of them are part of this one series and each book is like 250 pages long and i read it on my kindle and i finished like either one or two a day but i also still just don't understand how i had the time to read that much so we're just gonna hop right into it because even though i don't have a big stack of books i read a lot on my kindle and that in itself is just crazy to think about so let's get started so the first book that i read this month is shatter me by tahara mafi i did make a reading vlog that video is coming it's just taking me a while to edit but i did read the first three books in this series so if you don't know what shatter me is about it's basically about juliet um she has lethal touch she's in an asylum and then one day she's taking out of the asylum to go be a weapon for the reestablishment, which is basically a kind of government thing that they have going on in their dystopian world the earth is like dying the people think that they can help and like the reestablishment was like oh we can help you guys even though they're a bunch of liars so she's taken to the reestablishment and she's told that she's going to be used as a weapon she does not want to be used as the weapon because she hates her touch and basically you get to follow her along with adam and warner and kenji and so many other amazing characters throughout the story and just see them grow so much and see them go through everything that they did i really enjoy this book a lot i was talking to one of my friends and she was like you know i just couldn't get into it and i'm like i was immediately hooked by the first page like i'm not even lying i just wanted to figure everything out i needed to read the entire thing i read the first one and i gave this one a four stars i did not give it a five star fully just because i was like mm, it's the first book i love to see character development and you're just getting to know characters in this one so i did give it a four stars i did really enjoy it though so that's the first book that i read so the next book that i read which is the next book in the shatter me series is unravel me in this one you kind of get to see what life is like for them after everything has happened after the first book i don't i don't can't really say what goes on in this one because it just spoils everything but in here you get a lot more character development i really enjoyed this book at first i did give it a five stars looking back i probably am going to give it a 4.5 so 4.5 to this one it's really good character development is great in here you get to meet a lot more characters you really get to make connections with characters that you were least expecting i really enjoyed this one but the third one that i read that i freaking loved i knew i was gonna love it the minute i picked it up is ignite me this is the third one it is also my favorite cover guys it is so freaking beautiful also i tapped it we'll be able to see but like i tapped it a color coding very proud of myself for that but in this one a lot of things happen a lot of character development a lot of character connections a lot of just banter and this book was funny like i was not expecting it to be so funny the way that it was yeah i really really enjoyed this book i did give this one a five stars i loved it i thought it was amazing would read again um and i cannot wait to read the rest of this series but also in between all those other books i did read novellas in this united me by that we have destroy me and fracture me destroy me is in warner's point of view fracture me is in adam's point of view i gave each one three stars the destroy me one made me love aaron warner like i knew after reading his novella that i was just gonna love him I did. So these were the first books that I read of the month, which is just a big series. I still need to finish reading the rest of them. I'm working on it, guys. I'm also working on the reading vlog for this, so you guys would be able to see my full detailed review for these books in there. They're amazing. All right, so now we're gonna hop over to my Kindle. I've read 14 books on my Kindle this month, and I'm gonna be frank with you guys, I'm not even done with this month yet. I'm pre-filming this video on the 27th because between work and school, I do not have time to film and edit this video on the same day. So we're gonna we're gonna sit on my Kindle for a little bit. The first one is Guarded by Dominique Wolf. This is a I don't know if it's mafia. I think it is, but the thing is is that she is like the daughter of a mafia like dad i don't know what to call him and then she needs a bodyguard because her dad does something really stupid and that's where the guy comes in i can't even tell you their names because i don't remember anything about this book i gave it a three stars because it wasn't bad 
it was pretty bad. It was just so mid. Like, I did not like the girl at all. I just felt like their connection was very pushed on them. Like, the guy just wanted someone there and she just happened to be a girl that was there and she was so annoying and i just don't understand what was going through their heads i probably would skip this if i were you i was gonna buy the book originally because it wasn't on kindle unlimited and i heard good stuff about it and then it went on kindle unlimited and i was like okay i'm just gonna read it so glad i did not buy the book because then i would be forced to keep a book that i do not like <laughs> that was the first one and then we get into a big series the next 13 books are part of the same series i'm gonna list them all but i'm not gonna put all the covers on the screen just because the covers it they gross me out i hate them this series is 51 books i don't understand how it's that many books in one series but for whatever reason i'm eating it up like they're 250 pages each about probably a little bit less i don't think much more follow this big family and this big group of friends kind of like the addicted series but worse i mean the addicted series is really good don't even get me wrong like i have my addicted shelf this series i don't know there's like something familiar about it but it's it's good but it's also like so bad that it's good you know what i mean i think it's called the forever and ever series by el todd i'm not exactly too sure so i started reading this series because it came up on the kindle unlimited ad one day and i was like okay i just want to look at it and then i start the first book and the first book is all i want is you by el todd i gave this one three stars in this one you are following sky and kaysen they're childhood best friends to lovers that's like their trope that is them they are like soulmates that's also like one of their tropes that they like they literally say it out loud they're like you're my soulmate like that's our thing you really follow them the first book and i'm not gonna lie i didn't really like it i thought that they were really problematic and like the thing is is that kason and sky they are basically the happy couple like if you were to think of like oh what's like the perfect soulmate happy couple like that is them and they are aware of that i don't know they just annoyed me like i don't really like sky that much as i get into it i'm like okay i actually really like all these characters but the first time i was reading i was like i just don't really like sky like kaysen he's just stupid but i continue reading it and then i went if loving you is wrong which is the second book and this really follows between the second book and the third book which the third book is you are all i ever needed but you start to see a development of a enemies to lovers in this series i'm just going to tell you who they are it is between tristan and slade like it is enemies with benefits enemies to lovers it is so it's so good it made me keep on reading this series like i'm not even gonna lie those two characters made me keep reading the series like i do not like slade at all i think that he is such a misogynistic kind of guy but his character development his character arc in these books i just want to hug him right now i'm like at the point of the series where i just really do not like him again because he messed up and he's stupid but i did love him at the beginning so the first book i gave three stars the second one i gave two the third book i gave four stars the fourth book having you is never enough i also gave four stars don't exactly remember i think we're mainly following still like slay tristan sky and kaysen as you continue reading all of these books you are still continuing um following the story of like the previous couple because i think that's what really like made this series as long as it did you're still following all the other couples because you start to see them in college and now you're starting to see them grow up and have jobs and i'm sure as you continue reading you see them like have kids and everything you still follow all the same couples and so you get like a lot more out of it and you get them maturing and messing up and all these other things so fifth one is we belong together which i gave three stars i don't remember whenever the other couples come in but so you have those four tristan slade kaysen and sky and then you also have silky kaden no conrad Rolland. i think those are like the main seven people and then as you continue reading you meet thomas who is Rollins' brother you also meet arson who him and silky were together for a little bit and then you get to see him like grow and come into this family and you get to learn more a little bit about him and then you also meet heath who is brought in by Rolland. you get to meet all these characters which is so cool and be inside each one of their heads and get to know like their romances their stories their families and their dynamics with the rest of the characters so where was i on um the next one that i read was you have my heart i gave that one four stars you will be mine 
I also gave that one four stars. Everything and more, against all odds, my heart skips a beat, nothing is left because of you and you make me weak. I've just been giving three stars because they've all been like pretty, pretty mid. They're not bad, but they're not horrible. The one that I'm reading right now is actually really good. There's a lot of drama going on right now. So it's getting good again because for a while there, it was just kind of like, I don't really care about these characters. But now I'm meeting some new ones like Clementine, who is Kason's sister and getting to know her story. And it's just really interesting. It's a really interesting dynamic. You get to follow this big family because not only are you following these other characters, but you get to see them interact with their families because they're all childhood best friends. They've known each other for years. It's a pretty mid series, but also like you get through it so quick and I've grown to really love these characters, even though they are really stupid. So if you're looking for like super easy reads, pick it up. You know, and you don't, you can drop it any time. The only reason why I continued was because, like, I, I'm a person who just needs to finish series. It is a 51 book series, though. They're all on Kindle Unlimited, so they're all free. But yeah, that was my big series. I know that was probably really confusing to follow, guys, but I don't, I can't really talk about it, like, by each book because so much stuff happens and like stuff spoils but yeah so the last book that i'm actually currently reading is kiss the sky by krista and becca ritchie i have about a hundred pages left i just did not have time to finish it before i need to film this video so far my thoughts on it which i know i'll be finishing this book by the end of this month probably between today and tomorrow um my thoughts on this book so far i really love it i relate to rose a lot more than i thought i was going to i thought i'm pretty Pretty sure Daisy is still gonna be my favorite character because like she's pretty much all I want to be in my life like super adventurous and outgoing in there but like I relate to Rose so much in the way that like she needs to control everything she's like the oldest sister and I know that there's Poppy but like Rose is the oldest sister in my head she just wants like that perfect looking kind of boyfriend and life and everything but like she's really falling apart on the inside I got really deep but that's like how I feel and that's why I relate to Rose so much and just like amongst other things like she's just super relatable to me and I really love her and I just love how strong she is but yeah I'm not at the end yet but like stuff has been going down they have like a reality tv show I hate Scott with my whole heart and I just cannot wait to get to Daisy and Reich's book I'm so excited you have no idea it's probably gonna be a five star for me just like the rest of the addicted series because it's so good anyway yeah this is the last book that I've read this month or I'm going to read because I still haven't finished it. So yeah, these are all the books that I've read this month. I really hope that you guys enjoy this video, enjoyed me kind of ramble on about all the books that I've read and just books that I've fallen in love with. If there are any other book videos that you guys want to see me, if you guys want like certain recommendations, let me know because I would love to do that kind of video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in my next video. I love you all, but I'll see you guys later. Peace out.